Hi. Good morning and welcome back. This course on hashtag the last black unicorns at Berg Mountain Optional University we discover how hashtag you can be unicorns too, distinguished in time from space. Today we cover the second distinction of birthright, biological heredity. Won't you come along with us? Second distinction. Birthright, biological heredity. A main issue many may not know is what dirt actually is. Well, earth is actually a reddish clay, but soil, or earth's crust is nothing more than remains of animals, insects, trees, weeds and grass decomposed since before dinosaurs roamed our planet. Sure, ashes to ashes and dust to dust, and yes, carbon life consumes other living things, but having grown from birth, destined for mortality, we are distinguished from clay. However, how much we are or may be predetermined for most but others less master their fates by captaining their souls. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. I think whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul, in bit is written by W.E. Henley in 1873 is known to those who highly revere the writer as we now distinguish as in time and space. Individually, captains of our fates and masters of our souls, we are but one of the billions on earth now and more countless many who'd come before, alive we may be distinguished enough. Of millions of semen, we reading this fertilized our mother's eggs where good or bad, right or wrong, handsome or not, we ought know we've won. The gift of life is an achievement in and of itself as writes Mark Timmons, the benefit of moral behavior is moral behavior, in moral theory, an introduction 2002. Born, we need not much more as, his eye is on the sparrow, where whatever brought mothers to fathers, we reading today oh biology, but we don't inherit the world. As every man born is entitled to life, liberty, and happiness, if his eye is on the sparrow, wouldn't it be on hashtag the last black unicorns too while they still exist? As every man is the king of his castle, home, those born indoors is, certainly, different from those born in mangers as elaborate castles differ from mobile homes. As equality unites us, justice divides us where morality and ethics are regulated by claims of those closer to sovereigns or others wild in the majority. Certainly, there is a difference between order and chaos where kings, their fathers, and slash or ancestors won wars of yesterday, yesteryear or long, long ago. Of our class of mammals there are so many spheres of order wherein rank individuals are born to subcultures in order of their families, to a genus and of a species. Surely, mammals who are herbivores, horses are of the equus family with a ferrous genus, but we argue as in on the origin of species Charles Darwin had in 1859. Writing that animal species could evolve from natural selection, we are saying not only that they could but that they had and do in hashtag the last black unicorns proving their being humane. Of the countless equus ferris that ran where courthouses, skyscrapers, and football stadiums sit now we have to remember human history is so relatively new that, perhaps, 1% of horses which have roamed the earth had been bred as becoming soil they'd contributed more to the earth than most any other breeding uninhibitedly. Thus, whoever anyone is they are owed by someone or a body of others similar a percentage of whatever portion we call all or however much soil our fathers added to earth. Whatever in the fell clutch of circumstance brought our mothers to our fathers we are here today owing none to any save ourselves in biology. Everything born must eventually achieve mortality where unicorns measure themselves in relation to horns. Ordinary men in relation to communities, value of property that all is owned by a king who after war redistributes land to those of the public loyal and thus the term republic. We are, or at least I am, more than ashes and dust though today is but one of zillions prehistoric where hopefully what we write will surface somewhere long after we're gone. Darwin wrote, no one definition has satisfied all naturalists, yet every naturalist knows vaguely what he means when he speaks of a species. Generally, the term includes the unknown element of a distinct act of creation. In hindsight we may have wrongly labeled unicorns Equus ferris feral as Equus ferris churonis is certainly more appropriate. We can't predict things feral calling them wild, but we don't know if aliens crossing borders are poor in refuge clothed in tattered rags or imperial out of uniform in disguise. We call Equus ferris all horses but domesticated and trained are two different things. Horses are broken always individually, but hashtag the last black unicorns with horns for protection just in threats not to mention kicking at will. Most assuredly, animals see other animals and as man is attracted to some but not others, unicorns, and even fish seeing others are attracted to their phenotypes. What? Well, because their horns are for protecting their mar race. Young, we think fathers have amassed is ours as well or will be with time, but we don't inherit the world however we only borrow it from our children. A big misconception about wild horses is that they run randomly hither and thither because man seeing them did so from a stationary position. From entrances of caves, Socrates in Plato's Republic explains how cave paintings of horses gave those further back in caves an idea of what was outside and returning to the depths without ever having seen one. When bees build hives, we say it's instinctive, but when dogs return home to masters, we say they do from memory and more so that they chose to return. As common sense renders men as eusocial as bees instinctively, we choose to be more than our fathers whose achievements from proximity may be taken for granted. From platforms fathers build for sons to think oneself greater is almost blasphemous, but human nature as all have an innate sense of sovereignty and wanting our daddy's records back. If the world owes us nothing, surely it couldn't have been so with our fathers who are now, certainly, in heaven. How could it be that our fathers were worthless, having created such perfection seen in mirrors reflections of ourselves? Quite the contrary, with life and liberty pursuing happiness is a position relative to the only ones who matter, our fathers. 
in line to inherit kingdoms running wild in earldoms earls practice domestically for where, tranquil, predestination may lend their fates. With birthrights being born, we die having lived for liberty and happiness. Our father's phenotypes attracted mothers. Hashtag the last black unicorn species we've changed to Churonus slash Sagittarius. So, if others we know don't owe us from our father's ashes and dust biologically, it's time to internalize what unicorns mean to us then joust it. That's all the information we have for you this time. We hope you got the most out of our presentation and understand why we see unicorns as Equus feral but a more accurate identification would be in them called Equus ferris Churonus. Next session we cover the third distinction in the relativity of economic competence. We hope to see you there, then next time. Thank you for your time and consideration.